Whoa, whoa, what's this? Is this Rebaldi in the same shirt two videos in a row? Yes, guys, it was a clean shirt. A clean guy. The only clean shirt. It's laundry day. Ooh. Shut up and sit down. Because today we're not talking about me. We're talking about you. We're talking about all the nasty, naughty, dirty things you did as a horny little teenager. Yes, you guys. We've all done things. We've all done things we're not proud of. <laughs> Guys, if you think back to what was the nastiest thing I've ever done that I would rather die than tell anyone. You know those little games of truth and dare? When you get asked, like, what's the dirtiest thing you've ever done? And then you just say something stupid like, um, uh, I guess the girl was. We all know what you did. Oh, you didn't just kiss a girl. We know you did worse, but you're so ashamed you're not gonna tell. That's everyone, okay? It's human nature. We're not gonna tell the things that shame us. At least not if you know my name, right? At least not if you know me. I mean, anonymous, maybe. And so today we're taking a look at a bunch of anonymous people who went out and told you the weirdest, nastiest thing they've ever done. And once we're done, it's gonna be your turn. Okay, prepare yourself, guys. I'm gonna go through that comment section and I'm gonna judge every single one of you. <clears throat> First off, in eighth grade, I saw a girl's boob touch the edge of her desk. Not like naked boob or anything, but it was like fully clothed boob. When nobody was in the room, I went over and licked the desk! <laughs> oh my god! I am not proud of this. Imagine. Just imagine someone actually see we've all done something like this. When I was in school once, there was this girl in my class with amazing smelling hair. And I was just so attracted to her. So often she'd leave her hair ties, like her hair bands and stuff, on her desk in class while she went out to get lunch, okay? In school. And so I would sneak in and grab her hair band and literally just... Oh my god. <laughs> I'm not proud of it. What about this guy? This guy's like, what? oh my god, you're judging me. Please don't. When I was 12, I was home alone and extremely sensual. When, when doing this private thing wasn't enough, I walked around the house naked with a phone. I was looking for somewhere to put it in. Oh no. I hope you didn't find anything. At least something that wasn't yours. After some searching, I saw my bicycle. I laid it down on the floor and pile drive my pee pee into the peg. Oh my god. I've only got two pumps in before I realized how terrible of an idea that was. What an idiot. I proceeded to feel disgusted with myself for the rest of the summer. I hope you didn't ride that bike around in the summer. Look at this guy. I think that was bad? Look at this. I found my mama's... <laughs> no! You know, the whole thing. Mm, okay, uh, what am I doing with my hand? Uh, I found my mama's boom boom. And I was, I was this. I felt, I, he felt sensual. So I turned it on and put it against my D. And I rubbed up and down until boom. Only until my post sensual this consciousness kicked in did I realize the terror of what he had just done. But what you just did was you took your mom's private thing. And you put it on your private thing! Oh my thing. god. I'm sorry, that's, that's too much. Look at this dude. Me, a straight guy, and a couple of my friends went out one snowy night at age 13 and made a snowman with a huge... Ooh. I don't know why. God knows why. But you think that's bad? Honey, that's not where it stops. We all proceeded to suck his <laughs> snow pee pee. <laughs> For about 10 minutes! So this guy and his friends had a snow D in their mouths for 10 minutes. We all got horribly sick and had to stay home from school for a week. Um, okay, I, I guess, okay. Um, yeah, I tried to F my couch when I was 13. God, no! What about, oh no, another one? Used to build snow women. What, what is it with the snow, with the snow? Used to build snow women and teach all the kids in my neighborhood how to go down on the women. A lot of the kids got some hot women later in life. Coincidence, you were a great teacher with those snow ladies. Okay. But wait, how, how did you teach them? <gasps> How did you teach them? Let's not ask questions we do not want answered. Was really young, right before I really learned how to properly... <laughs> but still exploring the sensual stuff, I would do things like hump my pillow or carve a hole into a nerve ball for my wang. <laughs> Oh god, okay. All that was well and good until I tied my D to my chair and then proceeded to trip over a stuffed animal almost 
ripping my D off. Oh, oh my god. god. Ow. I still have the scars. Oh, the humanity. Okay, I have a question. Where were you gonna go with this? You tied your. Where are you going with this? How is this gonna end happily for you? I don't get it. What about you? I was wearing my new mini skirt at my friend's sleepover party. When I went upstairs to get changed, I bumped into her brother and tripped over, revealing my new thong! Okay, okay. He said I looked really hot, and he kissed me. Oh my god. Your friend's brother just bumped into you. You fell. You, he saw your thong, and he was like, You look really hot. He asked if he could see my thong again, and as I showed him, all of my friends walked in and just stared in shock. <gasps> oh god! Hey, you look really hot. Crystal, where are you? Can you show me again? can imagine how that went down. One night when my brother's hot friend slept over, I accidentally ran into him in the bathroom. It was a little awkward. Since I was in my towel getting ready to take a shower. Oh my god, what a coincidence. So your brother's hot friend was going into the bathroom and you decided, oh my god, sing. We ended up making out in the Wow! What? And I didn't have a lonely shower. What about you? You're like my best friend's hot boyfriend. I'd broken up with her and a few days later he was checking me out and flirting with me. Let me guess you got with him because you said hot boyfriend, right? So your friend's hot ex was flirting with you. Of course you're gonna get with him. That's how people are, you know. He asked me out and I said yes. There it is. And then he kissed me. Oh. I suddenly turned around and saw my best friend with her jaw wide open staring at both of us. We were caught red-handed and I felt like the worst friend ever. Well, you kind of are. <laughs> Oh my god. What about you? You're like, you had a family party at your f What? Oh no! At my hot cousin's house. No! Did you just say hot cousin? That can't be good. Okay, so nobody was looking. You went over to the key rack and he stole one of the keys. So you stole one of the keys and then you went to Home Depot and you made a duplicate! What are you thinking? Wait, I'm, I'm concerned. So the family got irritated because their key was missing, so in the middle of the night, you went and you returned the key, and then you ran. All right. Now you had to play a waiting game, so the whole family went on vacation to Vegas, and that was your chance. For what? For what? Well, in the middle of the night, after my dad dropped them off at the airport, I used the duplicate key to quietly sneak into their house. Oh, no. Oh, no. I'm, I'm scared where this is going, because you said you liked the cousin. You said she was hot. Now, I was free to do what I was planning to for the last few months. What the hell were these guys? I immediately went to my hot cousin's room and stripped nude. Oh no, I had this rush. Okay, I went into her closet and dove into her dirty laundry pile, rolling around in it, sniffing the F out of it. Anything any dirty teenage self could think of. That is nasty. I rolled around in her bed. Oh god, no. Oh no. Are you serious? Are you freaking serious? And then this guy just had to run away because the neighbors started noticing the lights in the house and they were like, wait, someone's in the house, but they shouldn't be. So they started to get on the phones and then this one neighbor was outside checking on the place and he ran and he dipped away from him and he ran away, but he thinks he saw his face that so he would never go back to that neighborhood, but oh God. Bitch, what? Did you, did you all hear this? Okay, that's that, that's crazy. What is the dirtiest, nastiest thing you've ever done, you guys? Because honestly, I don't think it can top any of this. Can it top this? Let me know down in the comments below. I have a few things, but I'm not going to tell you because, bitch, it's not going to be anonymous when I say it, actually. Maybe one of these stories was mine. But I'm not going to tell you which one. Maybe. Maybe that's just me protecting my, uh, privacy. No, maybe one of those was mine. Maybe it wasn't. Maybe it was. Guys, let me know down in the comments below what's a awkward story or a friend story if you don't want to tell your own. <laughs> that happened with you. What was the weirdest, most naughtiest, sensualist thing you've ever done as a weird, disgusting Hoey teenager. Let me know down in the comments below guys, but that was pretty much it I hope you enjoyed today's video. If you did do drop a big thumbs up Don't forget to comment your experiences down in the comments below What is something you definitely regret doing something you do not want people to find out? Let me know down in the comments below guys. I might have told you mine, but that was pretty much it gonna go now Bye guys